And of course, now that we've made some changes to our um, vendor useless ROM, notice in our useless ROM here we still have CM, which uh, you know we decided that we're not going to use anymore. So we delete that from our list, and we actually need to jump back into our useless ROM folder, and we need to uh, repo sync dash c, and we're going to force sync to write over anything. Uh, let's see. Need a single revision. What am I doing here? Project repo manifest. Invalid upstream. Oh, uh, so in our useless ROM, we look in the repo folder, and we need to update our um, manifest. So CD repo get status. Um, Interesting. Ah, here we go. So we need to go into our manifest folder and get pull um, fix conflicts then commit the result. So let's just uh, control H so we don't delete the git folder. We'll delete this. It's saying that what we have does not match what we need. Force it. get pull F. Let's get pull dash F. Force it. Alright, I'm going to have to look at this for a second. Okay, so there's a little bit of a conflict because apparently I made a change to the file and sometimes in Git you can run into this sort of problems. So what I did is I just opened up that manifest default folder uh, in um, Git Kraken, which, like I said, is a super handy tool if you're having trouble at the command line. And you can do a couple of things. You can re uh, rebase, you can uh, check that out. Um, we'll go ahead and, and check that out and make that the one that we're on uh, resolve problem. Good grief. Look, I want to abort that merge. There we go. And I want to pull this. There we go. 
and I want to check out this. There we go. So now, if we go back, CD, we go back. Now we should be able to repo sync dash C uh, dash force sync. All right, great. So now we're going to uh, download the work that we've been doing uh, in our um, vendor area, particularly. So you know we took out CyanogenMod mod and we're putting in useless ROM. So that was a little bit uh, unusual how that got stuck like that. I must have started to do a commit from the command line and then aborted at some point and then went back and changed it again. So, um, but that that can happen and hopefully if you run into the same problem, you can use this fix to fix that as well. Um, but here we go. We'll we'll actually be getting our files starting to update the way that we want them to. So now as we start doing our work, we can just repo sync and it will fix uh, import all that work that we're doing in our um, vendor useless ROM folder and put it into the ROM itself so we can start working on building.